Hello everyone, hello peeps, welcome back to another episode on the Oshix Minecraft server, my creative city server build. And today we're going to be doing a cab ride for the Vitaria line. Here we are at Vitar Street, currently the northern terminus of the Vi Vitaria line. It's going to be extended further though, as you can see. And we're going to be taking the local line until Shore Bank Interchange. So let's, let's get on with it. So we're just going to come up here to the station and to our platform. Okay, so here we are. There's three platforms, well, technically four. We've got two side platforms for the local services, and we've got a middle island platform for the express service. Though some express lines used to run straight through the middle, they don't have that anymore. They all stop here. So let's get on with this cab ride. So we've just left Vitar Street and we're heading south now. So you can see those overhead electric wires on the right hand side, that is for the Cross Urban Railway Line 1 that only currently runs from Vitar Street to Imperial Central and we'll be arriving at Agustin Lane South or North? South, here we are. So this station doesn't actually have ticket barriers, it's very, very, um, not very well used. Alright, doors are closing. Let's continue. As you can see, express trains do not stop at the station. And we are on a viaduct, aren't we? Yeah. And these stations are quite close together. Next up is, um, what's it called? Laren Street. Here we are. Another station where the express trains don't stop. Alright, doors are closing. Perfect. And you would have seen um, express trains that stop there, but also on the map, the train, um, sorry, the line does go down to Intergross, so three more stops. Um, Shorebank Interchange is currently experiencing some refurbishment for the Vitaria line platforms because they've been a bit of a decline for now. Um, I'll show you the track layout here. There's an old signal box actually that's still in use to direct the trains onto the express or local tracks. So, short back interchange. At this station, trains coming in from the south, so Intercross or Key Station, they can come and terminate here on the terminating platform, the bay platform, and then go back out south. Or they can continue. And this is where the local and express tracks, which the local track we are on right now, they merge here. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we are here to dual track. You can see that bridge over to our right. That's, that used to be where the Vitara line terminated before, inside that building, before I got extended north. Over the river. Okay, and here we are at Key Station. Very nice. Very, very, very lowly used, or very least used. One of the least used stations on the Oshix Metro, I think, this station is. Alright, we're ready to go already. Alright, on this leg we can, a lot of trains tend to terminate at Key because we can go straight to the depot or they terminate or shore back interchange coming south. So you've got a depot, three roads there, um, Key side stabling sidings and depot. And we're into a tunnel after being elevated for most of our line and this is where our final stop's going to be at Intercross. Go. Intercross our final stop and we can come out of the station. Not through that way, that's that's red. Here we are, exit an imperial line. And um later um I can also do a route going the other way as well. So we'll be seeing that right now. All right, we're ready to go, and this time we're going to be doing an express service from Shorebank Interchange onwards. So we're going to close the doors now, and we'll be ready to go on our way. All right, let's go. So if you want to go into the sidings from Key, what we have to do, we have to go back up to Shorebank Inter because there's no crossover track. We have to go back up to Shorebank Interchange as the Bay platform, then just what ends, and then come back out on the southbound track, heading, and then we can go into the sidings. 
So here we are at the key station. Doors, are we ready to go? Okay. Now, when we do come into Shawback Interchange, we do slow down quite a bit. Just because if you're terminating there, you don't want to be coming in at a very high speed and then smash into the buffers at the end. That's why we've got to slow right the way down. There we go, you see the checkpoints inside. And then. Here we come in onto platform, I don't know, what is it, one? <laughs> okay, pretty busy station, shore bank interchange, especially because they're doing all the works right now to try and bring as much free access and sort of safety and stuff to the station. So they're trying to, especially it's really busy at this time, trying to really manage the crowds and stuff. Alright, doors closing, we're ready to go. And as you can see on the, there's a signal box, so we can choose which one we're going to go down. We're going to be going down the express track this time. So we're here on the inside tracks, we're not going to be stopping at Laren Street or Agerson Lane South. We're going to be straight, we're going to be going straight through them. And here we are onto the elevated part of the Vitari Line. It's one of my favourite parts because you can see all the buildings and stuff. It's above a road, which I really like. Towards building metrics there. Yes. And over the canal. Good. Agerson Lane South Station is very, very close to Vitar Street, so it's um, yeah, it's not very popular. Only for the people who live really close to it. Others just go to Vitar Street because there's more transport options as well, and also you've got you got Agoscage, literally, you see that building over there? That's um, the Staten Line, sort of out of change, out of station interchange, rather, I say. And you can see these overhead wires, they go down below us and they come out on the other side. That's the, um, what's it called? Cure Line 1, CUR Line 1, whatever you want to say. And you can see we slowed down there because there used to be points if you wanted to go straight through. And here we are at the final stop of the Vitaria Line is Vitar Street, it's going to be extended further anyway. Um, you get a brilliant view of the tr um, down the tracks down here. The four tracks and then it curves around there. Lovely stuff. And this is going to be it for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. We're probably going to be doing more cab rides in the future. This one's a bit more of a casual one than the highly polished one for the Imperial Line Plus also is out in the open so you can see all of the things that we've been doing in Oshix. Um And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, like. If you really loved it, subscribe, comment, share, all that, all that bits and bobs that YouTube people like to say. And I'll see you in the next video or a previous video. Bye.